Japan on Friday agreed to provide the Philippines with a coastal radar system worth 600 million yen, $4 million, as the countries deepen cooperation taking into account security challenges in the Asia-Pacific. The agreement was reached during a 90-minute meeting in Manila between Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Kishida is seeking stronger ties with the Philippines, which is embroiled in a maritime dispute with China in the South China Sea, to improve relations with the Philippines. Prevention in the region. The radars will be supplied under Japan's new Official Security Assistance OSA, program, which provides defense equipment free of charge to like-minded partners. This framework was proposed based on Japan's updated national security strategy and published in late 2022. The framework was officially launched this fiscal year to complement official development assistance focused on economic development. The Philippines will be the first OSA recipient, and Malaysia, Bangladesh and Fiji are also scheduled to be recipients for the 2023 fiscal year. Kashida and Marcos also agreed to begin negotiations on a reciprocal access agreement, which would facilitate exchanges between the Japanese self-defense forces and the Philippine military. The leaders called for greater trilateral cooperation with the U.S. with the aim of increasing China's military presence in the South China Sea. We cannot accept unilateral attempts to change the status quo by force, Kishida said at a joint press conference afterwards. The Philippines shares security concerns with Japan, Marcos said. On economic cooperation, Kishida and Marcos reiterated plans discussed in February for Japan to provide 600 billion yen, $4.02 billion, in public and private infrastructure assistance by March 2024. About 40% of the Philippines' development cooperation funds come from official development assistance Japan. Kishida also urged Marcos' cooperation at a special summit between Japan and ASEAN in Tokyo in December, which will mark 50 years of friendship. The Philippines will take over the rotating leadership of ASEAN in 2026, replacing Myanmar, which was originally supposed to lead that year. The leaders discussed a coordinated response to North Korea's nuclear and missile development, while Kishida called on Marcos to cooperate in the repatriation of Japanese citizens kidnapped by Pyongyang. They also agreed to pressure Israel and Hamas to exercise maximum restraint in the Gaza conflict. Kashida is scheduled to meet Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim on Sunday. The two leaders are expected to discuss the transfer of OSA equipment to help Malaysia's maritime surveillance capabilities. The radar, delivered by Mitsubishi Electric, is one of four radar systems to be delivered under the Air Surveillance Radar Phase 2 acquisition project of the Philippine Air Force as part of the Horizon 2 phase of the RAFPMP. Based on photos from Alta, the location is at Wallace Air Station in San Fernando, La Union. This corresponds to a PAF post last May in which an inspection of what appears to be part of the radar array of a Mitsubishi Electric J FPS-3ME radar, as well as recent satellite photos over Wallace Air Station. Two more fixed radar stations are being established, and supporting facilities for mobile radar are also being prepared. The coastal radar systems, funded through the OSA program, are a vital addition to the AFP's maritime defense capabilities and will bolster our ability to monitor and protect our extensive coastline, ensuring the safety and security of our seas," Bronner said in a statement. He said the grant was a significant step forward in the ongoing partnership between the Philippines and Japan and would enhance Philippine maritime domain awareness capabilities. The AFP extends its gratitude to the government of Japan who shares a common commitment towards regional peace and stability. We remain determined in our determination to protect our maritime interests, and with the assistance of our allies, we continue to strive for peace and security in our region," Bronner said.